Welcome to Hypertrain's favorite dating show, In Hyper Love With You. I am Jennifer, the world's most advanced artificial intelligence and your presenter. Today I have chosen three beautiful dates for our lovesick contestant. Date A, Astrid. They have just given up a position playing organ at a youth orchestra because everybody knows that poetry is the highest form of freedom. Date B, Bianca is the perfect date for a fun evening at a bar, warm-hearted with a love of good food. And lastly, date C, Charlotte, firstborn of the CEO of Pacific Bank, recently returned from a rebellious round-the-world trip, but ironically used family money to do so. Dear passengers, your mission is to choose the most compatible partner for our contestant. They've been waiting a whole week to find out who their new partner will be, and the suspense is killing them. After each question, choose who gave the best answer at the end, the lucky couple will meet for a holiday date thanks to Hypertrain. Without any further ado, this evening, the seeker of true love is Kai. Hi, my name is Kai. I'm 18 years old and I'm a virtual world creator. I'm an activist, mostly for climate adaptation. My dad was one of the first climate refugees. The most important thing to me is equality. Every person in the world should have the same rights. My siblings sent me to the show because Luca met Noah here and because they got tired of listening to my heartache. I hope I can be as lucky in love. My ideal partner would be quite deep. I could talk to them about anything. I'd like to recite a poem now. Oh baby, with your pretty face, drop a tear in my wine glass and see what you mean to me. Sweet cakes and milkshakes. I'm a fantasy parade. We have no idea where we're going, like two branches in a river flowing downstream. I'll carry you and you'll carry me. And that's how it could be. That was lovely, Kai. Let's go to your first question. Okay. What would you do if we won a trip to Antarctica? Hey Astrid, did you hear the question? Yes, I would go. It would give me a chance to work on my poetry anthology. It's called Black Snow. Arty couples are fascinating, aren't they? But let's be real, they never last. What about date B? Oh, I would travel there, but only virtually. I don't want to pollute Antarctica anymore. Uh, it would be super cool to go there, but I wouldn't sleep in a tent. I don't want to get attacked by penguins. <laughs> What do you think? Who should Kai take to Antarctica? Use your buttons on the armrest to vote. If we had children, how would we take them to kindy? Children would distract me from my writing. But if we did have them, I would take them every morning in a chauffeured car. I would rather adopt an orphan, but either way, I'd be busy. You'd be a stay-at-home dad in his rideshare. Hmm, Charlotte Jr. and I would travel everywhere by e-bicycle. No one owns a car anymore. It's so old-fashioned. What would you prefer, a trip somewhere local, overseas, or to a space hotel? A local trip. I love to stroll around town. It's the highest form of freedom. <laughs> okay, after poetry. Vietnam. I love other cultures. They're so interesting. I just ate my breakfast in Istanbul. Virtually, of course. The space hotel. Wait, what would that to my body. Being in space impacts every cell of the body. Mm. OK, 
Okay, Kai, time for your last question. Would you move to Eukalara for me? Definitely. Your nature is truly inspiring. And I can write poetry anywhere. Mm, yes, but wouldn't it be more fun to move somewhere together? Like Bali? I would prefer to live somewhere more cosmopolitan, like Finland. Um, anyway, I couldn't live in one place my whole life. Unless I inherited my parents' villa, that is. Welcome back, dear passengers. We have arrived at the moment you're all waiting for. Who have you chosen for Kai?